hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel this is Phoebe's Bay channel guys this is vlogmas 3 yes i went to ask to make jello for it so i thought of videoing it and showing you guys so on the pot is granot oil when it's hot i added my onions to it <laughs> guys this is the third vlogmas yes that i'm doing so i went to like six place in tom i just trust god i was able to get all the video clips <laughs> But well, definitely, I'm going to post the one I was able to get. Because there was no space. I tried to stream online. The network was so bad. So, guys, I had my paper to eat the onions on the fire already. Then I still, then I had my fresh tomatoes. The tomatoes and the pepper, they are well stained. Yes, I steamed them before using them. So, I'm going to stay right now. To combine the pepper, fresh tomatoes, and the onions together. Then after this, I'm going to allow to stir. So, guys, uh, if you're watching my channel for the first time, you're welcome. I'm glad to have you. I'm glad. Yes, I'm happy that you're watching this video. I'm happy. So, but to get more video from me, please click on the subscription button click on the notification button so if i post any video you'll be able to get an alert that i just post a video <laughs> i just had it my time to eat i had a time to sachet and i'm going to stay turn i'm going to mix it to make sure it's mixed together before adding other things so let me know if you're going to try this method it's very simple it's easier way of making jello fries so let me know in the comment box if i'm going to if you rather is going to try this method <laughs> i had some cube of martin of mangi the total of the mangi i had was 15 in numbers yes because i'm i'm cooking two tier of rice yes tea of rice so let me know like i said if you're going to try this method let me know you know there's a joy when the, you find other people are using your method to cook and it's satisfying them so just let me know i just want to know if you're trying it <laughs> thanks again for watching and if you have watched to this point please watch to the end yes see the end result don't just wash up and say, okay, maybe I guess I might know this method. No. So I just added my Ama Wonder Spice. Yes, let me know the spice you are using. You can use different spice of your choice, but I like Ama Wonder. There is a, a taste and the way the color of the rice will look like is so special. Seriously. <laughs> so you can actually try Ama Wonder or you can try spices. Is it spicy tea? Yes, spicy tea there are a lot of spice that you can use just try and know the one that is good for you so let's dive in into washing of our rice so these are rices the two tier i had added uh, salt to eat then i mix the salt and the rice together i'll be adding my hot water to eat then i'll be mixing it and allow it to cool for 10 seconds then i'll start washing it yeah, I don't like to cook for some minutes. I actually test the rice and I noticed the rice was a little bit not too strong. It was a little bit soft. Then I was like, if I have to leave this rice in auto to cook for for the auto to eat it, it's going to be more softer. So it's preferable. I just mix it allow for some second and wash. So that is what I did. Yes, and it worked out well for me. Oh, this rice was dirty. <laughs> I wash up to uh, is it six times? Yes, I have to wash through with water, guys. I was so prepared for this home service order. Yes, I have to put on sauce, I put on sweater. Ah, I wish you can see my full video. You know, I will have to put on cap and net to make sure that i'm fully covered i don't want to risk it and they were so cold the environment was cold i you know i was not at the particular spot i was moving year to year to different home to make sure i fulfill uh, their request yes to make sure i cook their food for them so 
so the water was still odd so i have to use the stick to mix it guys you can oh you can decide not to wash your rice yes like not to use this meat you can decide to parboil it so it's it all depends on you you can decide what you want to use but i love using this uh parboil this washing method and that parboil because i feel that parboil the rice already half cooked and you have to be careful when having water to eat so I was not like, oh, it's preferable I use this method. Yes, if you are cooking party rice, generally like me, I usually do party rice. Uh, this is the, the easier method we usually use. Yes, you add salt, wash it, very well, make sure it's clean. So let me know which of the method you usually use when cooking your jollof rice. Do you parboil or do you wash the way I did just now? Let me know so I can give you a hug. So guys, I didn't show you guys how I wash all. <sighs> But I wash it six times because the rice was so dirty, so I have to wash it very well. But now you can see that the water is clean now. Yes, the water is clean. You can see it's clean. So I drill it. Oh, I notice it. the water is pouring out, so I have to take the rice out of it and throw away the water first. And there is no stone in this way, trust me, there is no stone because uh, I made sure that I didn't actually ask, but I know this is Nigeria rice. I didn't ask the lady because I'm not concerned about it because I believe it's what he has, he was able to provide this. So I made sure that when washing and throwing away the water at that time, I made sure that I take out any stone if i see anyone i didn't think i see anyone i think just only one and i feel that one is because you know maybe those rice there they're packed with beans together mm -hmm. that was what i just noticed because there was no rice there was no stone at the dam you see me it was very dry and i didn't notice any stone at all and the rice was fine it was fine so there are a lot of nigeria rice that is more beautiful than this but this was still acceptable okay so this is what i did the rice is ready now so let's go back to her pot now the water is boiling fully well and i fetch some hot water close by because i have to use it to boil hot water close by then now we mix our um, sauce Yes, I do love my sauce. I miss it very well. So by now it's cooked very well. This is the hot water close to me. So I'll be having some hot water to eat before having my rice. But the stew is cooked very well. So I taste and I was like, okay, let me add some more of the meat stock. Yes, I'm not actually so cool with meat stuff. Stock, why is because I was not the one that boiled the meat. Yes, she she already spices before I came, and I I'm not aware of the spice she used to spice the beef and the chicken. So I was so careful. You know, it's different of when you spice it and when other person spice it. So I had, but I didn't finish it. I had some into it and. I taste I don't want too much salt I want the jello to come out perfect so I was so careful it was blocked so I tried to mix it together and I taste also you can see me trying to make the block right now i taste and it was good it was perfect yes it was perfect that was exactly what i wanted to taste it started boiling again you can see i allowed to boil again yes i didn't just 
put the water down into the soil and I'll keep boiling. Then I'll be adding my water to it. Yes, I'll be adding water to it now. Oh, I had some cube of mangi to top it up. This is the problem when you are doing record. <laughs> yes, when you are recording, I could not record when doing this because I was exhausted. I told you guys that I went to up to six place to cook their jollof rice, fried rice, and all. So I was so tired. I just did the video and I'm doing record to cover it right now. So, but in some the mangi I had is just 15 cube yes you know no mangi and it's like two is one inside right yes two is one inside so that two i calculate it as one so i use 15 cube of mangi and i had some amawanda jollof spice to eat again i had to eat so i miss very well as usual, you always test. <laughs> so I test it if it's okay and it was at the time it was. I won't have to show you this phone that it was. So I wash my hand. Yes, when cooking you have to wash your hand mostly when you're in the recording and you know you wash your hands so you can do other things. Now I had some onions to eat. I mean i had some onions yes i guess maybe when i taste i was not feeling the taste of the onion so i decided to add some more to it but the main thing is just make sure that everything is cool like it's okay you are not tasting more spice more than the other one your mangi your your spice you are putting into your stew sauce ensure that it's perfect Make sure that it's perfect. So now I'll add my water to it because I'm doing two tier. This is the quantity of water I'm having because it is two tier. Yes, yeah, so this is the quantity of water I had it. So I'm not going to allow the water to be more than the, the rice. It should just be small more than not not that obvious so i had some spice you know when you had water to eat and you have to try it's just as you have stopped to use the spice so i had a small amount of water again to balance it and i miss i taste and at this time it was okay so i had my rice to eat So I had my rice and my mince. Guys, you can see the water is just at the same level. It was no more than it was no more than. So this is this is the perfect way to do it. Then I covered put the rice to steam together. I think I cover for 25 minutes. It's not up to 30 minutes. I opened and I miss the rice that is at the done of. Guys, you have to be careful in this method when missing. Mostly when you're not using the may missing stick yes this one was not really packing the rice to my vibe <laughs> yes so you have to be careful so you won't go and throw away the pot of rice <laughs> so i miss them yes i'm going to use them for the rice i miss the rice that had done up and i covered again to steam Yes, at this point, you notice that your rice is not yet done. Don't be scared. Don't add any water. Rice does not actually need water to steam. It just needs the heat. It just needs the heat. So I covered it again. And I allowed to steam. Guys, please subscribe, like, and share my video. If you have watched to this point, subscribe like and share this video so this is what i did i missed the rice the one up down and the one down up 
at this point the heat was too much and my camera was not actually getting the capture of the yellow fries face like i wanted <laughs> so i miss it very well then i covered again yes i covered again so another method to use if you notice your rice is not well cooked don't be scared you can actually get a nylon yes that is white to the size of the pot then what you do you cover the rice with the nylon then you cover your pot then don't put more heat just put a little fire and just allow the heat to penetrate inside and your rice we don't hear yes, definitely but if you don't have nylon that is at the size of your pot you can decide to use foil paper yes the main aim is just to capture the heat not to escape from the pot so the rice will be well cooked yes that is the main aim. so i added my green beans i added it then i mixed again and I covered the pot. Please like, share, and subscribe my video. And if you are new here, once again, this is Phoebe's Fair. I'm glad you are here. I'm glad you are watching this right now. And I'm glad you enjoy watching it. So subscribe, like, and click on the notification button. So if I post any video, you'll be the first to receive it. So I mix properly and I cover. At this point, her rice is ready. Yes, it's ready. So I just cover the pot and I drop it. <laughs> I drop it. And this device, guys, have to transfer it to the cooler and cover. So before transferring your rice to cooler, allow it cools a little bit. So the rice was cool. So this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. I love you all.